Hi, I'm Vicky. Welcome back to my series about making the Canberra dress. In this video, I'm going to be adding the petticoats and the tulle to create the fullness that I want underneath the dress. So I'm going to add a layer of petticoats and then two layers of tulle to create the fullness. So I've marked the three lines where the three layers are going to attach and they are at three, three and a half and four inches up from the bottom. So the fullness, it's still going to be tight on the waist and then the fullness will start just as it comes onto the hips. The first layer is this doubled ruffle layer, which I've cut from a hell bunny petticoat. So I've cut the waistband that it came with off and then I've joined both layers of the ruffles together. I'm gonna to gather them on and stitch them as one. The first thing I'm gonna do is put it over and pin it at the back next to the eyelets. And I've cut it open down the back so there's an opening for my client to get it on and off. I'm going to pin it at the back one side and then making sure it's not twisted I'm going to pin it at the back the other side. Now from there I can find the halfway point just by sort of pulling it and I'm going to pin that halfway point at about the centre front Find my halfway point again. Is that about there? And pin that on the side seam. And the same on the other side. So now I can gather all of this and hand stitch it on. I'm gonna to have to hand stitch it because of the steel boning. But now my petticoat layer is sewn on, I'm just going to measure the length I need for my first tulle layer. So I'm going to measure down from my marking over the petticoat to the length that I want it. I want it just a touch longer, so I'm going to do six, oh. I'm going to measure in a couple of places. Yeah, I'm going to do 16 inches. So I'm using extra wide tulle, which is, I think it's about three meters wide. So I'm gonna cut two 16 inch lengths off the bolt and join them together to make a complete circle. So it's gonna give me about a six meter piece of tulle to join on. So I'm going to join one of the joins the full length and the other one I'm going to join from about halfway down so I'm leaving an opening so my client can get into this okay. And be careful not to get a twist in it as I join them too. Okay, so now I've got my two pieces joined, I'm going to pin them on. So that's the side, that's the join with the opening so that goes to the back. And then being careful not to twist it. I'm going to pop that join at the centre front, which, because it's going to be underneath the dress, you're not going to see the seam. Lining it up with my second marking line there. So that's my front. the back. Beautiful, so next I'm going to gather this evenly and stitch it in place around this middle line here. So here's how my dress is looking with that layer of tulle gathered and stitched on. So next I'm just going to do one more layer of tulle um, at the top mark here but this time I'm only going to use one piece of tulle instead of two so it will be just one of the three meter widths gathered onto here so it's not quite as full. And this time I need to cut it to I'm do it 17 inches. So I'm going to cut that, join the centre back and then gather that onto there. 
So here's my finished skirt with my two layers of petticoat and my two layers of tulle. And it's giving me the shape that I want underneath the skirt. It looks quite puffy at the minute, but once the skirt's over it, it's gonna just squash it down a little bit and it will give us that lovely curve from the waist out over the skirt, how I've drawn it in my design. Cool, so that's it for this part. In the next part, I will show you how I make the dress layer to go over the top, how I turn that um, second corset pattern into the dress pattern and make sure the skirt's the right shape and fit to go over the petticoat. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next part of making the Canberra dress.